again. Baker Mayfield, number one. Is there war number four? Come on now. I mean, I, I think those were, I think, I'm not saying Mayfield is a bad player. I think he could be solid on a team with a solid foundation of coach. I think had he went to a, the organizations like the Steelers, the Patriots, Baltimore, you know, established good cultures, you know, a solid veterans on the team, he could be, you know, a, you know, a, a good fit, a solid fit. I wouldn't say he's the, he's the best in the draft, but he could be a solid fit and an impact player, kind of more on the lines of a Phillip Rivers. Uh, with the Browns, I mean, what are you going to get decent for? You can't even... It's like it doesn't matter how good the defender is, you're not going to be able to really see because you're going to keep them on the field and wear them out. Like, go build your offense. Get an offense that can put points on the board and keep the defense rested. Then you can really see the value of a defensive player that you get. I mean, why don't you go – you could have still got Rose and a top quarterback. It, they, it's, not, it's not – the only one who I've seen was head and shoulders better than everybody is Rose. I mean, if you was going to get Mayfield, you could have got him four. Get Barkley number one, and you could have got Rosen number four. I mean, or you could still, if you want to make it, you could have got him number four. But at least you had a weapon. This is a lead moving towards where you need at least a solid one workhorse running back. But two, it, you know, it's the it's the ideal formula nowadays. You know, this is the new NFL where running backs is valuable again. But I definitely think they messed up with the pick. Um, I think the Patriots did solid with the running back they pick. Um, that was when I was saying two running backs, I would have got. Daquan Barkley and the and running back, uh, Sonny Michael, something like that, from Georgia. I think Georgia had, like, two good running backs. I believe that was the one that I like. You know, he, he would have been the one that I would have had coming behind him. So then you got a solid running game, so everything else becomes easier. It becomes easier for the line. It becomes easier for the receivers because people got to honor your run. And then it becomes easier for your defense because you can dictate the pace of the game. So Browns did horrible as usual. Oh, the Cardinals did very good. Rosen in a good position still on the West Coast. Him, uh, David Johnson, Fitzgerald, they have a solid receiving core. Now, all the receivers is pretty good, so that's really going to take them to the next level. I still expect them to be competing for the playoffs this year. Um, Patriots did solid with their draft pick. That running back is going to really take them to that next level. I'm trying to think who else. Somebody else did pretty good in the job. They took a solid pick. Oh, uh, Lamar Jackson, him going to Baltimore, a solid organization. Like I said, when you got a coach like that, you're already coming playing behind Flacco. I expect probably week five, six, he'll probably end up getting a start because Flacco will probably get injured, and he'll be ready when it's time for him to come in. Solid vet, solid organization. Those are the picks that stood out to me. You know, everybody else is, is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the Giants did good uh, picking up Barkley, but I still would trade OBJ because I just feel he's a culture killer. Uh, with him and Eli, you know, I feel like they can do great things, but you don't need the distractions. You need everybody in there to have that mentality to want to win. We know what Eli do when he's in a big game. So get the mentality right. I get the chemistry right on the Giants, and they should be headed, headed in the right direction. But I expect Barkley to definitely help them take a step forward you know, because they needed a solid running game, and he's one of the top prospects that we've seen. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout-out to the Patriots, and shout-out to the Cardinals. Those are the two standout draft picks I've seen.